2020 was a year that was thrown apart due to COVID-19, leading to massive loss of lives, livelihoods, and huge suffering around the world. But such pandemics and extreme events do happen, and they highlight how unprepared the world was, especially the global north, which refused to learn lessons from East Asia and other parts of the world in terms of how to deal with such events. So that kind of arrogance has really been revealing. 2020 also highlighted how unequal the world was, and these inequalities were laid bare. In particular, we had working class people, black and ethnic minorities suffering disproportionately all over. And these are the frontline workers, the ones in the informal systems. It's really important in 2021 and beyond to take universal public goods seriously, to universalize access to water, food, to think about a universal basic income. And I think one great excitement and potential is to really address the question of race and decoloniality because these issues have come up a lot in 2020. We really need to stop using the West as well as whiteness as the norm or standard because that's kind of invisible, but we need to shake that and instead be aware of the colonial and racial roots, even of development, and to embrace pluriversality, multiple perspectives, as well as alternatives from the margins.